Okay, so here we have the Gliffy website. By now, you should have all looked at, at the other um, YouTube video to see about all the wonderful things that Gliffy can do. Right now, I'm just going to um, show you the basics, um, what the different buttons do and how to get started. So the first thing you will see that when you put in Gliffy.com, you will see the Get Started Now button here, um, which is what you will use. I have an account already, um, so my details are up here. So we're going to Get Started and you type in your email address here enter a password just come up with your own password confirm that password make up some organization name like your school for example and agree to the terms of service then don't click this or they'll send you lots of updates and information that you don't need now you're you're signing up to a 30-day free trial from a, for a premium account which just means you have um unlimited uploads um but uh, after 30 days it just turns into um, a 30 day ba free basic account so when you hit sign up now um, you can work away but I'm not going to do that because I I have my account here already here are my details so I just do a basic login now this is the Gliffy application as you saw in the other video it's a it's like a program you'd have on your computer except everything is online um, this is the document manager as you see, you can see there, I have two documents, um, one called BG and just one called a test. Now, I'll show you my, my first attempt on making anything in Gliffy. It's pretty lame. Um, if I double click on it there, it should open it. So here's where in the world. And it's just pictures of um, different places around the world. So now I'm just going to open a new file. Um, So we go to our document manager again, and uh, this is what you will, your, will come up on your screen the first time you use it, and you're gonna select new document, and you create a name for your document. So I'm gonna call this one Tom Green. Um, now, here are the different um, buttons that you will be using. Along the top, we have a text tool, which just adds text, like that. Over here, then, you can um, you can change, same as your uh, controls on a Word document, bold, underline, italics, um, whether you want it to um, go to the left, uh, center, or right, the type of font, the color, um, etc., whether it's a web link or not. Um, the next button, then, is to draw a shape, a uh, simple um, ellipse. So it's the ellipse tool. Um, then we have a square tool, rectangle tool, which just draws rectangles if you select it. Um, now, if you just hover over the, the buttons, it'll tell you what they do. This is the connector tool, so if you had two um, pictures that you wanted to connect, you can just connect them like that. Um, finally, uh, or a line tool then just to draw lines, and then uh, finally we have the pointer tool. Now the pointer tool is what you'll have selected most of the time. When you have the pointer tool selected, you can um, highlight whatever you like on the board. So I'm just dragging across everything there, and I'm gonna press delete now. Click that, because it didn't get selected. So that we have text, um, drawing circles or ellipses, um, drawing rectangles or squares, connector tool, drawing lines, and then the pointer which you want to select it most of the time. Um, now, down the left then we have um, different shapes that you can use to draw. Um, if you were into drawing um, houses, <laughs> you could use this tool here, um, or these, these symbols here for um, drawing uh, a house, the interior of a house. So um, that's a fireplace and tiles. Now I'm just going to show um, one of these tools up here beside modify. Well, obviously, fill color is just to fill in a, any shape you have colored. Uh, so um, just say we drew a rectangle there. Well, then we go fill and color it like that. The buttons beside it are bring to front and send to back. So we've drawn this fireplace here. Now, I still have my a rectangle tool on so if I click on that now it'll draw a rectangle I don't want to do that I want to have my pointer tool on um, now this fireplace is underneath the tiles so if we want to bring that to the front we click this 
and now our fireplace will sit on the tiles. Um, that's what these two buttons are. So fill, um, bring to the front and send to the back. And if you just hover over, you'll find what those are. Now the final ones are um, save, print, the hand tool. The hand tool just grabs the page you're working on and moves the page around. It doesn't grab things on your page, it just grabs the whole page. And then zoom in or zoom out. Um, right, so pointer tool again. Highlight everything and delete it. So um, you have a load of different symbols um, for floor plans. So you have dressers, have beds, double bed, queen bed, whatever you want to use there, office layout, etc. So we're going to move on then to flow charts. These are more symbols you can use. Um, if you're into making flow charts, you can use that for a database. Oh yeah, so we grab the corners to make the things bigger and smaller. If you want to rotate something, you just grab that little symbol and you rotate it. Simple as that. Um, I have my pointer tool selected so I can highlight that and delete it. Um, if I had drawn something, so to, to, to drag one of these on you just hold down your mouse button and drag it over. Um, just have a quick look over here, um, which is really the last um, information box you need to look at. Um, these tells you, you don't need to bother with these, it just tells you where exactly on the page they are. Um, this is how big it is, so if you wanted a, a certain size you could change it here. Um, you can see that they increase as you make it bigger. Um, lock aspect ratio means that you can make it bigger, um, but it'll stay with the same proportions. So it doesn't uh, distort. Lock shape means that it won't move. So um, we'll unlock the shape and we'll delete it. So moving along, you have you can use all these different symbols, and I won't go through them all. Um, um, now these are just little pictures you can use uh, for n to do with rec networking, but um, if you ever find you want to use them, work away. Maybe make a drag it on, resize it. It's supposed to be a firewall. Um, now this is the most um, one of the most useful features. This image.